I'm not going to lie, games coming in 2023 did not win my poll on my community tab. However, Nintendo dropped a surprise Indie World Direct the other day, and it was a cozy gamer's dream. I literally can't wait to talk about all the games that they mentioned. Blanc is a game that I've been anticipating for a while, and I'm so excited that it finally got a release date. This game really looks like one of those games that's gonna cause some emotional damage and I'm totally here for it. I guarantee that I will cry at least once while playing this game. I was also not aware until this indie world that this game actually had no dialogue written or spoken, but honestly look how cozy this game looks. I am in love with this hand-drawn art style and how cute the characters are. This puzzle adventure game that has a couch co-op, by the way, releases on February 14th, 2023 on Switch and PC. Akka, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is actually coming out in December of this year, but that's close enough to 2023 for me, so I'm keeping it on the list. This game says to find inner peace in a small open world. You can take a nap, feed baby dragons, and take care of the fauna and flora. This one sounds like a cozy gamer's dream. It basically sounds like Animal Crossing with more quests, and while it says it does feature quests, it does note that the game is not linear and they are optional. So if you just want to spend your days napping, farming, taking care of your dragons, and decorating, that's okay too. This one releases on December 14th of this year on Switch and PC. This one's the second installment to a beloved game called Coffee Talk. I'm actually not too familiar with this game, but I've heard from several people that this game is actually amazing. You play as a barista working at a late night coffee shop and you connect with customers by listening to their stories and influence their hearts over a hot cup of coffee. It also features the ability to make latte art and experiment with ingredients to make the perfect drink. The best part about this game is the diversity of the characters. Some of them aren't even human. You can be visited by cats, elves, orcs, and other races. Coffee Talk 2 releases sometime in 2023 on Switch, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac. So the name Have a Nice Death might not sound like a cozy game, but this game looks like so much fun. This one actually released on Steam in March of 2022, but if you're a console player, it will be releasing on Switch in March of 2023. I actually went through and read some of the Steam reviews and it actually got really good scores. And now I'm fighting the urge to download it on PC. I just feel like this is going to be played better on a console, so I'm forcing myself to wait. It's described as a 2D roguelike where you play as an overworked death whose employees have run rampant, completely throwing off the balance of souls. And it's your job to restore order. The story and characters look so cute that I'm just calling this a cozy game. And again, you can pick this game up on Steam right now, but if you want to wait and play on the Switch, it comes out in March of 2023. Pepper Grinder is another one now that looks really, really interesting, but also really good. It's an action-packed 2D platformer that mixes in traditional gameplay with a drilling mode that allows you to drill in and out of the ground. This is definitely a concept that I've never seen before, and I'm really curious how this gameplay is going to work, and I'm super excited for it to come out. You can pick this one up sometime in 2023 on Switch and PC. Desta The Memories Between Us is actually a mobile game that is coming to Switch and PC sometime in 2023. This one is from the creators of Monument Valley Desta and it's a story of a broken relationship, words left unsaid, and a chance to explore your own dream for answers. The description is definitely giving me like Night in the Woods vibes where it's mainly a story-based game that you uncover as you progress through the game. And again, you can play this one now on mobile, but if you want to wait, it comes out on Switch and PC sometime in 2023. So here's another one that maybe blurs the lines between what a cozy game is, but Sports Story is an RPG with an original concept that features sports wrapped up in a big story. There's a multitude of characters to meet, and they say it's not just about sports, but it's an all-out sporting adventure. The pixelated art style is what's drawing me to this game, despite the fact that I'm not even a huge sports fan. Overall, it looks like a really well-rounded game with an original concept and I can't wait to pick this one up. The best part is this one actually comes out in December of this year. Another story heavily based game is coming out in spring of 2023 and I hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's called Dordogne and they describe this as a narrative adventure game. You play as a woman visiting the house of her recently deceased grandmother and her grandmother left letters and puzzles to solve to remind her to make the most out of life. The really unique thing about this game is that it's set in both the past and the present 
and I'm really curious to see how this gameplay flows. It can be played on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox in spring of 2023. Okay, so saying that I'm excited for this next game is an understatement. Botany Manor is an exploration puzzle game where you play a retired botanist in 19th century England. You explore the manor's grounds. There are many gardens to discover all set in a beautiful countryside. The puzzles are in the form of growing plants, so it's your job to find seeds, plant them, and find the right environment for them. To figure out the environment, you must gather information by inspecting clues such as posters, postcards, newspapers, letters, and paintings. It's basically a farming sim with a twist. You can pick this game up for Switch and PC sometime in 2023. Here's a game to satisfy your inner perfectionist. A little to the left is a cozy puzzle game that has you sorting, stacking, and organizing household items while watching out for a mischievous cat who loves a bit of chaos. There are over 75 puzzles to help you scratch that itch for tidying things up, at least in your fake life. And guess what? You can pick this one up now on Switch, PC, and Mac. So the next games that I'm going to talk about were not mentioned at all in the indie world. However, I already had a list going of games I wanted to talk about that were coming in 2023, so I wanted to include them on this list. The first one is a Switch exclusive that's coming in 2023. It's called Fay Farms, and it's a life and farming simulator with a touch of action adventure. This one to four player game where you can craft and decorate releases in spring of 2023. Here's a turn-based RPG that's inspired by the classics. It's called Sea of Stars. It tells the story of two children of the solstice who will combine the powers of the sun and the moon to perform eclipse magic. This literally looks like a witchy cozy game of my dreams. It releases in spring of 2023 on Switch, PlayStation, and PC. So the last one I'm going to talk about is Silk Song. I really thought that this was going to be the indie world where we finally got a release date but unfortunately we didn't. Um, the current predictions for Silk Song put us at about spring of 2023, and I really hope that that's right, but I'm remaining skeptical because I've heard the same story before. I've been anticipating this game for a long time because Hollow Knight is actually one of my favorite games. I had someone on TikTok debate me on whether this is a cozy game or not, and I guess it could be up for debate, but I'm calling it a cozy game. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. If you guys have any gaming suggestions that you wanna see featured on this channel, then please leave a comment below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one.